I, I had said to Stephen Page, our artistic director of Bangara Dance Theatre, I'd said to him that I wanted to do a work that was really explored the nature of um, and the relationship and the significance of land and country to to blackfellas, to indigenous people and what that signified and what that represented. So yeah, it was that was something that I guess maybe growing up in the country, maybe um, you know, my father worked on the railways, we travelled a lot, saw a lot of country and you know, moved around quite a bit and um, yeah, I just loved it. I loved having a, a an upbringing that you know, I remember growing up in Port Augusta in, in South Australia and just, you know, going out to the Flinders Ranges every weekend and, you know, having that as, um, as my experience growing up and even in Kalgoorlie, you know, going out to the desert and, um, yeah, so it was really inspiring for me as a, as a child. That was my toys, my backyard, my sort of you know, we couldn't, you know, that's how we spent our time, running around the bush, climbing trees, you know, uh, hunting, looking for things and creating our own sort of theatre and our own little world in a weird way, I suppose. And um, Yeah, so the inspiration for a work can come from anywhere. I, you know, that's something that means a lot to me and land and country, what that represents to to Indigenous people and how much of that informs your identity and who we are as people. You always want more time. That's part of, of creating a theatre piece, creating work, meeting deadlines. I mean, you know, and also we work with a subject and content that defies time and you know it can't be scheduled when you go out to country when you meet with elders you meet with them on their terms you meet you don't schedule you know we're going to meet at nine o'clock and we're going to discuss this for three hours and then we're going to you know yeah you just it's part of a process and it's part of a relationship that you build so you know time it's it's funny with Bangara because what we do is you know, we have to we have to meet deadlines. You know, we, we have to we've got uh, we've got a small window of rehearsal time, creation time, and then we tour it for this long. And but what we our content is timeless. It's about representing a culture that spans back thousands of years, and that you know. So yeah, it's often, and sometimes we're challenged by that. Um, you know, if if, the, if business comes up, then you can't schedule. You know, you know, you can't schedule going out to a community or meeting with a particular person, or you have to wait until the time's right. So you know, it's a lot of trust. It's a it's a lot of um, it's a lot of I guess um, I guess respecting that um, that it'll happen in its right time and in its own time, and that it's going to eventually get done. And that's also part of our creative process. Sometimes you're on a roll and you're just turning it out and you're going, yeah, yeah, this is great. I'm really inspired. And you know, we, we're, you know, getting a lot uh, done today or, you know, this week in the studio, we did 10, 10 minutes and yeah, it's all good. And then the next week it'll be dry and you know, you're struggling to sort of come up with any sort of inspiration or motivation or, you know, so, and you can't force those things, that's beyond your control. Or you've got to step away, you know, as artists, you have to step away, leave it for a moment, come back, look at it from a different way, different perspective, try to find another way of unearthing what it is that you want to, what you want to say. And, you know, you're lucky you get to work with a team, a creative team, a um, set designer, composer, costume designer, lighting, you know, they're all people that help to inspire the work with their contributions and their vision of what, how they interpret the story. So that's also great that, you know, you have, um, you have some help, yeah. Mm. Currently where we are, we're, um, you know, it's close, the work's close, it's not quite there, we've still got to resolve 
the ending, we have to, you know, that's often the hardest thing. How do you resolve a work? How do you find a way to, um, to finalise the journey that you're taking people on? What, what is it that you want them to walk away with? What, what resonates? What are the important messages that you leave the audience with? Um, and, you know, sometimes that doesn't come until you're in the theatre and you go, oh, okay, well, I thought it was going to end this way, but, you know, you're in the theatre and it's like, well, actually, maybe we should end with nobody on stage, or maybe the ensemble should all end on stage. So, but you don't know until you have all of those elements together of lighting, set, music, costume. They're all the layers that help to bring the story to life. Um, and so, yeah, those things, it's fluid, it can change. And when you take it and you put it onto stage, it transforms again. And sometimes that's out of your control and you have to go with the way that, um, that you know, it organically sort of, I guess, evolves. Yeah, so, um, you know, it can change day to day. Uh, that's part of theatre, even during a season. What we present on the 29th of June can be um, one version of the work and it, it's really only in its infancy. It's, it's going to grow and evolve and become something completely different. And I hope that it does. I hope when I, you know, if I step away and I come back and I see it at the end of the week, I want to see something different. I want to see that the dancers their understanding of what the story is that they're telling has grown and taken and that they take us somewhere else to a different place. Um, that's what you hope and that's what is the magic about theatre is that every night you can expect something different. Um, having a brother like Stephen, um, we started to work together a long time ago <laughs> when we were kids creating stuff and and to be given this opportunity to to write for dance is, is particularly um, exciting and fulfilling as a composer uh, to work with Francis on a new work with Bangara is another amazing opportunity to to increase and and to to challenge myself more as, as a composer um, sometimes I don't like being called a composer. I like to sort of be referred to as a songman because there is that other aspect of creativity is knowing that you are part of a culture that is so significantly ancient, and you know I'm blessed with that. I can I can I can dig into that. I can you know I have so I'm so um, I've been given all these 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 um, tools and, and beautiful nurturing culture, you know, stories from my father, stories from my mother, from my grandparents, uh, stories from this land, which was this piece is about terrain, and, and you know, we're giving all these tools to, to work with. So it comes from a lot of different sources. I don't know where it comes from. I mean, like I said, I dream it sometimes. I could be driving in a car. I think what I love the most is you can go to the most real places, like your family, and you can, you know, but go back home to your mob, and go back to your country and refuel, and that's inspirational. So sometimes nine to five, it, definitely doesn't work for me. I mean, I'll try and make it work. I'll go in there and, and say, oh, look, I would need to do five minutes today, at least three minutes, and I'll push myself. But if it doesn't come, it just doesn't come. It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, one piece could take a week to write a piece of music. And, and I think sometimes, and that's a lot with a lot of creative creative people when they work it's like that if you try and force it it just doesn't happen and um but then you know i could write a piece and it'll come in 10 minutes and that's the magic and that's where you go 
oh, that's why I do this for, because it's such an amazing feeling when that comes. It's like you're like this medium that something comes through you and, it, and there it is. And you sort of go, wow. And that's the piece. That's the piece. You sort of go, you know, it's, it's like with any art form, painters or photographers, or you just go, that's it. That's the one. And you listen to it and you go, God, that comes so quickly. You, and then you wonder where where does it come from? You know, you don't know. Don't question it. I just try not to question it. <laughs>